Today we're speaking with Dr. Gad Rennert. He is Chairman of the Department of Community Medicine and Epidemiology at Carmel Medical Center and Technion Faculty of Medicine, as well as Director of the CHS National Israeli Cancer Control Center. Thank you so much for joining us, Dr. Rennert. You're welcome. Could you begin by discussing the background of the bisphosphonate study and what led you to studying the bone density drug in cancer prevention? Yes, well, the bisphosphonate study, study is really a part of a much larger study. Mm -hmm. It's just an analysis that we did within an uh, ongoing uh, uh, study that is uh, running for about 10 years already. Uh, the reason we took this analysis or this look at the bisphosphonate issue was recent results that were published uh, by uh, Gnant uh, in the New England Journal of Medicine uh, several months ago where he showed in a study that looked at bisphosphonates for prevention of bone metastasis and uh, one of his secondary um, endpoints for the study were the occurrence of contralateral breast cancer. He showed with small numbers and a non-significant finding but he showed a reduction in the risk of contralateral breast cancer in women who use the bisphosphonates to prevent metastasis. Uh, so uh, not having developed uh, contralateral breast cancer uh, suggested that there might be a preventive effect in place. So that's why we took a look, uh, we, uh, took a look at uh, our data set. And can you talk a little bit about the breast cancer in northern Israel study and your methods? Yeah, so, so we're talking about an ongoing case control study. It's a population-based study. All these are magic words to say that it's uh, uh, methodologically sound. Uh, and uh, it, it, uh, it uh, identifies every new woman diagnosed with breast cancer in a defined geographical area of northern Israel and matches a healthy control to each and every one of these women. So we get pairs that are matched. Uh, one is uh, a breast cancer patient, one is a healthy control, and they're matched on age, on uh, a residence to control for socioeconomical status, and on ethnic origin because mm -hmm. it matters uh, for the risk of uh, uh, breast cancer. In any case, we are, uh, we are building up a group of uh, cases and controls. We interview them all, we take bloods, take uh, tissue samples from the cases only, of course, and then we compare the cases and controls for behavior or for a variety of markers in the blood or in, a, well, in the tissue we just compare within the cases. And can you discuss your results? So what we have found, uh, we, we looked at a large variety of risk factors for, correct, uh, for breast cancer, and uh, we found all the classical risk factors, the reproductive ones, the ones that deal with family history or obesity, to, to function in our study too. So you do find the same, the same uh, risk factors to, to, to serve as risk factors. And then when we looked at drug use, one of the questions in the study was uh, 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 requested reporting of any drug use for more than five years uh, mm -hmm. by the study participants, be it a case or a control. And among them, we asked about bisphosphonates, and we found that uh, many more women in the control arm use bisphosphonates than in the cases arm. Uh, in, in epidemiological terms, this translated into an odds ratio of 0.7, reflecting uh, an, a negative association of like a 30% reduction of risk in the uh, uh, of risk of breast cancer mm -hmm. if you take bisphosphonates. Now you have to be careful with that. It's an association study, so it's possible that women who take bisphosphonate take it because of because of osteoporosis. That's um, the one and only mm -hmm. indication for bisphosphonate use. They take it because of uh, and osteoporosis per se is a low bone density situation. Low bone density by itself is a protective. Uh, a, a, against breast cancer. Mm -hmm. So the question uh, stays on whether we're seeing an effect of the low bone density or the effect of the drug use itself. Uh, this cannot be resolved with the um, methods that we're using. A case control study cannot answer that. Uh, we have suggestions, uh, uh, we have hints the, to suggest that uh, the, the bisphosphonates are actually the ones that are doing the job but uh, the, it'll take time. 
So what are the next steps for the research? So now we are looking at changes in tumor markers mm -hmm. and a variety of biomarkers to see if the drug actually makes a difference in, in, in biological systems that are mm -hmm. related to either the occurrence or the differentiation or the progression mm -hmm. of the tumor cell. And uh, if we find that, that will be uh, good enough grounds to embark on a, what we call a phase three study, a randomized control trial, to actually see in practice whether uh, the drug uh, can prevent uh, breast cancer. Dr. Renner, thank you very much. You're welcome.